for the purpose of this presentation, I will show you how to import data using the rtrack layer package. Before I begin, I'd like to tell you that, yeah, we've been using the UCSC browser. Well, basically, the R package or R track layer package lets you interface or use the UCSC browser with this programming language. Essentially, you can take data from the genome browser and put it into R, or you can do vice versa, the opposite. So the R language can read specific types of files. They can be BED files, GFF, WIG, big WIG files, and a few others. So the main way you read these files is through the import function in the R language. And it essentially has different methods of using this function. So let us begin by putting in the R track layer package. So then right away we can look at the help of how to use the import function based on the R data. So here as I scroll down you can see a little bit of the basics what I just told you. It also explains what kind of files it can read, BD, GFF, etc, etc. So we're going to look at the big wig file. And basically a wiggle file in our case basically has some sort of numeric value along the genome. A big wig file contains a single vector across the entire genome. But it is compressed and therefore it makes it easy to extract a specific value for a particular region. So let's get a big wig file. We're going to use a function known as the annotation hub. Then you pretty much define it using a variable and then you give it a variable. So when you type in the variable a hub, this is what you get. So then we're going to look at it more specifically to say some data values. You can type in this function and you see our data class slot. Basically, it kind of gives you like a little summary about this big wig file and what it contains. It has some G ranges, it has fast A files, you can see, and a bunch of others. So, using the function that is typed right above, you can see the first few data of this big wig file. So the file will be saved as BW and this was going to be downloaded. And once it's downloaded, we could take a look at it. So now let's say we want to read it. I just can type in the function import and put in the vector name BW. However, most of the time we are just interested in reading a part of the file. So then we just add on a which argument and then put it as for G ranges. And let's say for this particular case, for example, we want to read in just chromosome 22. So we specify it here. And since I don't know how big the chromosome 22 is, I'm just going to put in a range. And, and I definitely know it's not bigger than 10 to the 8. So that's the range I'm going to put. So once we have that defined, we can put it in. We can see what we have. And there you go. We get a bunch of G ranges. <laughs> And yeah, and that's how you import a specific data set from genome browser into our language. Thank you very much.